Hey, what's up guys? It's Kerry Sullivan with RockstarTriathlete.com coming at you with some more tips for sprint triathlon training. One of the things that you can do that will help you tremendously in your recovery and your overall performance is the use of supplements. Things such as creatine may help you. Branch cha uh, chain amino acids are also very useful in terms of helping your muscles build themselves back up in various other parts of your body, as well as Q10. All these things have been shown to be pretty beneficial to people, and especially athletes, when you're going out there and you're pushing your body the extra bit, it really pays to have some supplementation because often it can be very tough to get all the nutrients you need from a standard diet. The next thing is doing some over speed training. And contrary to what a lot of people think, they think this is going out and doing training where you're going at a higher intensity than you would at race pace. But really, over speed training is training your neuromuscular system. And by doing that with over speed training, what you want to do is you want to increase your cadence, your turnover, your stroke, uh, stroke, stroke count when you're swimming. So you can do this by counting how many strokes that you're taking per uh, per 25 meters or so and really try to increase that so your neuromuscular system is kind of used to going at a higher rate. The same is true with running and cycling. You can do that. Really pay attention to your cadence. Make sure that's nice and high. You want to be going 90 plus ideally for all those and in your over speed training you should be going as high as you can with those turnover with that turnover. The next thing is plyometrics. Just doing some basic, pretty easy plyometrics before you go out running can be something that can definitely help you get that extra pop when you're out there doing your sprint triathlon. So before you go out running, just jump up onto a box or jump up onto a set of stairs, you know, do eight to 10 repetitions, maybe two times through doing that nice and easy. And that should help you. Plyometrics are other things you can do is bounding, some skipping, some power skipping. Those are all things that can help you get that extra little pop that you're looking for come race day. So those are my tips. Again, this is Kerry Sullivan with rockstartriathlete.com. If you like this, feel free to pass it on. And uh, other than that, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.